Hey guys, it's Doug from STL Beds and we are getting ready to assemble the STL Bed Super Duty Foundation and it comes in a multitude of sizes. You can get it in twin, full, queen, and king size, even California king. It's going to come as a high profile and also as a low profile. The low profile is going to be five inches tall. The high profile is going to be eight and a quarter inches tall. We'll show you the differences as we go through the video. So your STL Beds Heavy Duty Foundation will come bundled just like you see right here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the little bands off and we're going to lay the pieces out in an organized manner. Alright guys, so we've got our Super Duty STL Beds Foundation unboxed like you see right here. We're about to cut the bands off of it and we're going to lay it out in the position. One thing you'll take note of is that there was an extra box. That extra box included the extra I-beam that's going to run down the middle and we'll see that in just a moment. Alright, so now we've got our parts laid out for the STL Bed Super Duty Foundation. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to take inventory of the parts that you have. First of all, you're going to have two end boards, you're going to have two side boards, and on the Super Duty you're going to have two I-beams. There's going to be one underneath of each sleeper. Now for the heavy duty version, you will not have two, you'll only have one. And that beam will go right down the middle of the bed like you see here. Additionally, you're going to have nuts and bolts, which are going to have your bolt, your flat washer, your lock washer, and your wing nut. Show you where those go in just a moment. You're also going to get an instruction sheet, and you'll also have a zippered cover, which will go around the whole uh, foundation once it's finished. All right, so now that we've identified all of our pieces and we've got them laid out and organized, the next step is to, uh, is, is to put in the nuts and bolts. And just to make sure you have everything correct, you'll notice up here at the top that it says A, B, C, and these pieces say B, B, C, and A, and those, those correspond and match up. On the other end, it's going to say up and up. So that means that this piece here is going to be upright. That will be at the top, and uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the bolts through. So there's two little dowel pins, like you see here, and there's two little holes. You're just going to push those in, and then you're going to put the bolt through. And then you've got a flat washer, you've got a lock washer, and then you have a wing nut. Okay, so now we've got all the framework uh, put together, all the nuts, uh, are the uh, wing nuts, the bolts, the lock washers, the flat washers have all been installed, they've all been tightened. Uh, now it's time to install the slats. And on the bottom side of the slats, there's going to be a piece of Velcro. There's also a piece of Velcro right here. This system is very simple. It requires no tools to actually put it together. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to pull this out, and then we're going to, uh, to let the Velcro adhere to one another, and we are basically done with this portion of the bed. And I'm going to do that right now. So we now have our slats in place. You can see they're all equally spaced to support your, your current mattress or your new mattress. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the cover on. The cover has a zipper on it. Think of it as a shower cap and then the, the zipper will be on the bottom side. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to unfold this. And then we're going to start unzipping it all the way around. Okay, now that we've got the cover unzipped, I'm going to take it, I'm going to pull it inside out, or I'm sorry, not inside out, I'm going to pull the cover right over the top of it like a shower cap. And we're going to do this on all four corners. Now it's ready to zip on from the bottom side. Now we've pulled the cover in all four corners down to where it's over the bottom of the, uh, of the foundation. I've hidden the top back here from you, but now what we're going to do is we're going to pull this down. In 
it's ready to zip. We're going to grab that zipper, we're going to start zipping it, and we're going to go all the way around until we're finished.